It's time for another Showbiz Spotlight as Jack Black is back to fight another animated foe in Kung Fu Panda 4. Voicing the distracted warrior, he teams with a fox bandit played by Aquafina as the two must defeat an evil shape-shifting sorcerer. How do I find this, the chameleon? I'm gonna lead you right to her front door. Yeah! It was against an army. <laughs> then we'll just have to get an army of our own. There's nothing better than a great kung fu and action adventure. Just start there, baseline. What's better than a great kung fu action adventure? Zero. Mm. Nothing. There's nothing better. But then if you add comedy. Now you kids be careful of those fireworks. Yeah! Yeah! Violence makes our tummies tingle. Poe the panda, it's just so so satisfying to look at him as a character. He's such a beautiful creature in the in the world. Yeah. It's the combo of those five elements that I just gave you. Those are the ingredients but I can't tell you the exact amount of each because that is a secret recipe. It's Thousand Island. And, and the really? Nice try. It's a little bit of Thousand Island. I ain't gonna give you the recipe. Uh, yeah, okay. Being the dragon warrior, it's who I am. Skadoosh. What do I know about being a spiritual leader? What is it you're holding? A cookie? It was also a, kind of a, a great opportunity to show some, some Poe growth and where it's like, oh, he has some things to learn still, you know? about spirituality and about uh, solving things through peaceful means. There's a lot of cool themes running through it. What is this place? The best crooks and criminals live here. You're a wanted criminal? You sound surprised. Is it surprising? Jen is a uh, fox that is uh, definitely steals an, an irredeemable amount of things um, for a living because she is um, like Poe, an orphan. And when they meet, it's like uh, you know you kind of, you bring up earlier that they're, they they are adversaries, but but because like one is very like sly and fast, and then the, and the other one is, is is kind of just like he's he's fighting and stuff like that. So, and I think they learn a lot about each uh, about e from each other, about each other, and and they change their perspectives. You were chosen to become something more than you already are. <sighs> <coughs> Everyone's got a little Poe inside of them. A little part of them that doesn't know the right thing to say or do in any situation that feels a little outside of the norm. And uh, you kind of root for them. We're not so different, you and I. Stand back. I'm gonna kick my butt. My character has become kind of comfortable with his role as the dragon warrior and he is really enjoying and maybe taking advantage of his rad position as the most famous kick-ass kung fu master in all of the Valley of Peace. Awesome! I feel really honored as a, as a Chinese American to be in this movie um, because it does, it has always kind of honored um, true things about, about um, the culture and I think done so in a really, uh, in a really cool way that that uh, you know, as a young age, definitely added to the Asian American or the Asian landscape of, of films. Did you actually think you could drift a meal out of me? Mm. There's got to be some sort of misunderstanding here. <laughs> and apparently, I'm the one misunderstanding. Please allow us to pay for our meal. Uh, it's kind of a funny bit. <laughs> early on in the movie where you see his celebrity and like he's <laughs> using it to open a franchise <laughs> yeah. of restaurants and things. It's like, hey, you're kind of, that's not really what you're supposed to be doing with your job. You're supposed to be defending the Valley of Peace, but he's uh, getting a little side action there. And uh, it's kind of a funny lesson about celebrity and about about uh, fame and the power of it and how you can like, uh, it can go to your head yeah. and you can misuse it. Um, and a, a couple times I was watching the movie and going, this is hilarious. Wait, are they saying something about me? All I know are two things, kicking butt and taking names. And if I'm being completely honest, I'm not even that good at the name taking. Like, who is that fire-breathing crocodile? I wanna say Steve? They say it's lucky if you rub the panda's yeah. belly, but uh, don't you dare try to rub my belly because <laughs> I will call HR. This is not working at all. Thanks for watching another edition of the Showbiz Spotlight. If you can, please follow, subscribe, and like the Showbiz Syndicate. And check out other reviews and stories.
I'm humbled and appreciative.